Gaming Bolt presents 15 most powerful weapons in Fallout 4. Fallout is about the journey through a desolate, war-torn world, searching for what little hope may remain. But it's also about guns, lots and lots of guns. While Fallout 4 has just released and we don't know the true secrets of its weaponry for some time, we can still compile a list of its best killing tools thus far. Here are 15 of the most powerful weapons of Fallout 4 so far. Fat Man the Fat Man has been a well-known quantity since Fallout 3, and its devastating nuclear blasts quickly clear an area of enemies. While ammo is rare in the wasteland, the Fat Man is always a blast to use when you can turn enemies to dust for a couple of minutes. The launcher literally fires mini-nukes, making it equal parts hilarious and deadly. Minigun the minigun is a little less fantastic or original than some of the other game's weapons, but it makes up for its lack of originality with some seriously heavy firepower. It can tear through enemies in an instant, ripping them to bloody shreds. It becomes even more powerful when combined with the power armor. Justice Perfect for turning raiders to mush, crippling super mutants, or annoying death claws, the shotgun is handy for crowd control. Especially with the inclusion of VATS, the shotgun can pinpoint specific limbs and blow them to smithereens. While it isn't good for long-range encounters, it's devastating up close and can clear out a crowd in a hurry. Laser Musket Fallout 3 had a large array of laser weapons, but none were as unique as the laser musket. After each glowing blast is fired, the gun needs to be cranked to ready the next shot. It's incredibly satisfying, cranking up the laser and then pumping it into the chest of a ghoul. It can be modded to be even more deadly, but its unique aesthetic and mesmerizing reload only makes it more tantalizing. Junk Jet Do you ever find shooting missiles just too boring? Then the Junk Jet is for you. It's a rocket launcher that fires everything but rockets. Load it up with a teddy bear and tear through a raider's head, causing their friends to run with their tails between their legs. It's got great power, but it's also incredibly entertaining to watch random objects soar through your enemy's chests. Fragmentation Mine This one is pretty straightforward. It's a mine that will blow the legs off anyone dumb enough to walk too close to it. Like most of the explosions in the game, it hits heavy, throwing viscera in every direction. They're perfect for a stealthy approach, laying mines and then leading unsuspecting enemies into the explosive trap. The only downside is that they aren't particularly useful in active combat, but that doesn't make them any less lethal. Railway Rifle The Railway Rifle is a perfect example of the type of gun that might actually crop up after the nuclear apocalypse. A rifle that uses deadly railway spikes as its ammo. The spikes are rare, but if you can find them, they pack a punch. Using VATS, players can target a specific body part and then demolish it. Even if the spike doesn't rip through your target, it will still lodge itself inside of them, causing a bit of pain. Double Barrel Shotgun Channel your inner Mad Max with this explosive shotgun, capable of stunning even a death claw. A lot of the Wasteland's denizens like to fight up close, so this weapon is perfect for turning them to sludge. The standard shotgun is deadly, and this shorter variation still holds its own in the irradiated wilds. Bottle Cap Mine a big part of living in the wasteland means you have to put together what you find. The bottle cap mine is a hastily put together proximity mine that tears right through friend and foe alike. The lunchbox pops open, revealing the massive explosives contained within. It perfectly fits in the Fallout world, and it's devastating to boot. Plasma Scatter Gun What's cooler than a shotgun? A shotgun that fires plasma. Fallout's plasma weapons are always a ton of fun to play around with, usually ending with your enemies as pools of green goop at your feet. This particular variation is good for painting your foes green at a close range. Plasma Sniper Rifle This variation on the plasma weapon is for those who favor accuracy over all else. While it is essentially just a sniper rifle, the addition of plasma makes it seem more exotic and definitely makes brawls more satisfying. Landing a headshot on a super mutant only to have them melt into a pool of goo is a great way to end a gunfight. Plasma Thrower The third plasma weapon on this list, the Plasma Thrower is a plasma-infused take on the flamethrower, dishing out a large helping of toxic flames. The wasteland is full of mutated, radiation-riddled beasts, and this weapon can make quick work of them. This will help you make short work of any rat scorpions or blood flies that may be hovering nearby. 
Alien Blaster Pistol The Alien Pistol isn't the easiest weapon to get, but it's one of the coolest. Its sleek red body looks like something straight out of a 60s sci-fi movie and fires and sounds just like you think it would. It's not only a powerful weapon, but also very good in medium-range combat scenarios. If you can track it down, it will stay in your arsenal for quite some time. Laser Rifle The laser rifle is very similar to the laser musket, but its faster reload and better accuracy make it a safer but less powerful option. It's great for pinpointing specific enemy appendages and separating them from their owners. Its rate of fire is much faster than that of a laser musket and more than makes up for its lack of power compared to its retro brethren. Righteous Authority This supped up laser rifle puts out more damage than the ordinary variant and is much harder to find as a result. Like the plain version, it pumps out bursts of searing heat that can rip raiders limb from limb. This rarer version obviously differs from the original so it may end up hurting your arsenal if it doesn't fit your playstyle, but it certainly won't hurt. What was your favorite weapon in Fallout 4? And if you like what we're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. See you soon!